The California Supreme Court has rejected the plans to hear a challenge to Prop 22. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and Prop 22 is probably going to stick around, folks. I wish it weren't so. I wish that we could repeal this stupid thing. I wish that drivers had not voted against their own interests. And yes, I know some of you are going to say, well, it wasn't just the drivers that, that voted. Yeah, but you know what? More, if, if 10 drivers voted in favor of Prop 22, that was way too, too many. That showed that way too many drivers were interested in voting against their own interests. I know I'll get a lot of flack for that, but you know what? Like I said, back when it passed, I don't care anymore. You guys are your own worst enemies. And now, of course, some of the people who even voted for Prop 22 said, well, now that I know what's really going on, that, you know, I'm still getting screwed and, hey, I'm still getting suspended, like, you know, maybe we can overdo it. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon because the California Supreme Court has thrown out the challenge to Prop 22. So, this is from the Los Angeles Times. The California Supreme Court threw out a constitutional challenge to Proposition 22, clearing the path for the voter-approved law allowing gig companies to keep treating their workers as independent contractors. Correction! They are treating their drivers like employees. They are just paying them like independent contractors. And unfortunately, the two aren't so sin compatible, if you know what I mean. Uh, the lawsuit that the state Supreme Court declined to hear was filed last month by a small group of app-based drivers and the Service Employees International Union, one of the nation's largest labor unions. It alleges Prop 22 limits the power of elected officials to govern in violation of the California Constitution by removing their ability to grant workers the right to organize and give access to the state workers' compensation program. Well, of course it limits all those things. That's why they wanted it to pass. The court's decision Wednesday not to hear the case strengthens the position of gig economy companies, including Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash, which spent hundreds of millions of dollars bankrolling the measure on the November ballot. Protections for gig workers in California have been at the center of a political battle between labor advocates and gig economy companies that refuse to comply with state labor law requiring them to classify their workers as employees. Before the company secured an exemption under Proposition 22, the demand for grocery and other food delivery services during the COVID-19 pandemic has put a fresh spotlight on drivers' working conditions, especially the whole, you know, companies making record profits while continuing to cut the rates of the little guy. And by the way, also not offering, you know, the medical attention they need should they actually get COVID-19, but whatever. The state Supreme Court denied the plaintiff's request to hear the case without prejudice, meaning the SEIU could still seek to challenge Proposition 22 by refiling the case in a lower court. That would probably turn into a much longer process. And, you know, who? and by the way, since it's also without prejudice, that means should it go through all the lower courts, it could still end up at the California Supreme Court. Basically, the SEIU decided to try to jump the line, and the California Supreme Court said, nah, we're not going to hear this now, but hey, you can still file it in lower courts and maybe we'll hear it if it goes through all of that. Um, attorneys representing the union and drivers said they hope to expedite the case by taking it directly to the state Supreme Court. Oh, just like I said, the Calif sorry, the handful of drivers who brought forth the challenge to the Supreme Court's decision was disappointing. It, yeah, of course it was. Quote, we will consider every option available to protect California workers from attempts by companies like Uber and Lyft to subvert our democracy and attack our rights in order to improve their bottom lines. Hector Cast. Castellanos, one of the drivers who brought the lawsuit, said in a statement, Castellanos has driven for Uber and Lyft for about five years. And, dude, you haven't got out yet? Seriously? Well, um, SEIU declined to comment on whether it would pursue the legal challenge further. Oh, they probably will. They probably will. There's a lot of money at stake if they win. Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and Instacart, the major companies that funded Proposition 22, did not immediately respond to requests for comment. In response to requests for comment, Kathy Fairbanks, a representative of a coalition called Protect App-Based Drivers and Services, which led the main pro Proposition 22 campaign last year, cited a statement by Jim Payat, an Uber driver living in Modesto. You know what's really funny about this thing? It's kind of just how everyday people become experts all of a sudden they go to an organization that leads 
a movement to vote for a piece of legislation when they ask for a quote it's like okay we need a quote do we get the ceo do we get the president do we get the leader no let's get jim piatt a driver from modesto because clearly he's an expert that's like calling on me to be an expert on this situation i'm not an expert and i've been talking about the damn subject for five years anyway um, the Jim <laughs> said, we're thankful, but not surprised that the California Supreme Court has rejected this meritless lawsuit. We're hopeful this will send a strong signal to special interests to stop trying to undermine the will of voters who overwhelmingly stood with drivers to pass Proposition 22. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that he says that like, you know, has a strong signal to special interests. Is it Uber and Lyft a special interest group? I mean, they're corporations, so obviously they, they they got special interests. They've got interests in themselves. But, uh, yeah, Jim, bite me. <coughs> Excuse me. Proposition 22 <coughs> cruised to a victory in November with 58% of the vote. City attorneys for San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego had urged the state Supreme Court to hear the case, filing an amicus brief in support of the lawsuit in January, arguing that Proposition 22 would deprive hundreds of thousands of workers of a wide range of protections and benefits. The attorney said determining the constitutionality of Proposition 22 would be crucial for a number of ongoing cases brought by public prosecutors alleging Uber, Lyft, and other gig companies misclassified hundreds of thousands of drivers as independent contractors. The story originally appeared in the Los Angeles Times. Now, I mean, I am actually a little surprised that California didn't take on this case because California tends to be liberal, forward-thinking, all that jazz, but apparently not not so much in this case. Uh, but, of course, California is looking to really tax these gig companies, and I think in that regard, Proposition 22 might have been beneficial to them. But in my opinion, yes, Proposition 22 is constitutionally not appropriate because you can't... It basically says that, you know, hey... These companies, these big multi-billion dollar corporations, they can set the rules, they can do what they want, and you as a little guy who feels you are getting screwed by those rules, you can't challenge them. No, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I believe any company, any person, any entity should be challenged if people feel that they are being screwed by them. And if they feel they are being screwed with them illegally, then all the more reason to sue, particularly when... The drivers of Uber are treated as employees, but they are paid like independent contractors, which means... Now, some of you might be saying, I make more money doing this than I ever had in a minimum wage job. It's like, yeah, but, um, yeah, if you're working like 12 hours a day, don't you think you should be making at least $40 an hour? I mean, that... I, I don't know. That, that seems to be the thing to me. And before you say, oh, I'm making more than $40 an hour, again, don't look at the paper statement. Don't look at the paper statement. That is not how this works. Check out your miles, your gas, your, you know, water or whatever you want to get them. Start, you know, how many drivers actually keep track of their expenses? Almost none of them do. And if they did, they would find out they were getting screwed. But of course, they're stupid and they don't do this. And that's why they do stupid things like vote yes on Prop 22. Anyway, this fight is far from over. I fully anticipate if the SEIU doesn't refile this appeal some other union group will because let's let's be honest one of the reasons unions are getting into this is because if they can unionize uber and lyft and doordash and postmates and well postmates is part of uber now i guess um if they can unionize these that is a huge business opportunity for these unions and unions are businesses in and of themselves i'm not saying they're not and a union isn't always your friend either Unfortunately, there will be some bad things to come along with the unions, and I tend to be anti-union for the most part, but here's when I'm anti-union and when I'm pro-union. I am anti-union when the union is going to do more harm to the workers than they are going to do right, but in the cases of places like Uber, Amazon, Walmart, these companies routinely take advantage of their employees and their workers and so in their cases yeah you should probably unionize because unionizing would be the better of two evils in that situation but again who, who am i i'm just a youtube guy reading the news giving my opinions on it and i let you come to your own conclusions and on that note we're gonna let you come to your conclusions i'm gonna ask what do you think of this are you disappointed in what the supreme court of california has done do you think this is the end of what's happening or do you think this is merely the beginning of a long and 
prolonged fight? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.